we will see the paper pattern for geometry. Written exam for geometry would be 40 marks in total and time duration would be 2 hours. Internal evaluation for geometry would be 10 marks. So, total marks would be 40 plus 10 which is equal to 50 marks. Internal evaluation would include homework of 10 marks and MCQs of 10 marks again. So, total marks would be 20. Now, we will see the paper pattern for the written test. Total marks for the geometry paper are 40 and time duration is 2 hours. Question number 1 would be solve the following any 5 out of 6, 1 mark each for question 1 and total marks would be 5, marks with option would be 6. Question 2 is solve the following any 4 out of 6, 2 marks each for question number 2 and total marks are 8, so we have marks with option as 12. Question number 3 is solve the following again any 3 out of 5, marks each for question number 3 are 3 marks and total marks are 9, marks with option are 15. Question number 4 is solve the following, any 2 out of 3, marks each for question number 4 are 4 marks, total marks are 8 and marks with option are 12. Question 5 is solve the following, any 2 out of 3. Marks each for question 5 are 5 marks, total marks are 10 and marks with option are 15. So, we have total marks for the geometry paper as 40. Next, we see the question wise marks distribution. First type of question is objectives. Marks for objectives are 6, percentage of marks are 10. Second type of question is short answer marks are 27 and percentage of marks is 45. Third type of question is long answer. Marks for long answers are 27 and percentage of marks is 45. So, we have total marks as 60 and percentage of marks 100. Next, we will see the marks distribution according to objectives. First objective is knowledge percentage of marks for knowledge are 15. Second objective is understanding, percentage of marks are 15 for understanding. Third objective is application, 50 percent of marks have been allotted for application. Fourth objective is skill, percentage of marks is 20 for skill. So, we have the total percentage of marks as 100. Topic wise marks distribution. First topic is similarity, marks with option for similarity are 12. Second topic is circle, marks with option are 10 for circle. Third topic is geometrical constructions, 10 marks with options for geometrical constructions. Fourth topic is trigonometry marks with option are 10 for the fourth topic. Fifth topic is coordinate geometry, marks with option are 8 for coordinate geometry. Sixth topic is mensuration and marks with option are 10 for the sixth topic. So, total marks are 60. Next, we see the chapter wise analysis of marks. Chapter 1 in March 2014, it had 12 marks, in October 2014, 12 marks, but in March 2015 and 2016, Chapter 1 had 11 marks each. Chapter 2 in March 2014, it had 10 marks, in October 2014, it had 10 marks, in March 2015, it had 8 marks and in March 2016, it had 10 marks. Third chapter, March 2014, it had 10 marks, October 2014, it had 10 marks, followed by March 2015 and March 2016, which had 10 marks again. Chapter number 4, 
In March 2014, it had 10 marks. In October 2014, it had 6 marks. In March 2015, it had 10 marks. And in March 2016, it had 11 marks. Fifth chapter, in March 2014, it had 8 marks. In October 2014, it had 8 marks. Followed by March 2015 and March 2016, which had 8 marks again for the chapter 5. Chapter number 6, in March 2014, it had 10 marks. In October 2014, it had 14 marks. In March 2015, 13 marks for chapter 6. And in March 2016, it had 10 marks. So, we have total marks in March 2014 as 60. In October 2014 as 60. March 2015, 60 marks again. And March 2016, 60 marks. Finally, we go to time management for the geometry paper. As we know, marks for geometry paper are 40. Time duration is 2 hours, so we have 120 minutes in hand. 1 mark is equal to 3 minutes, that means. So, question number 1. Time allotted for it is 15 minutes. We will utilize 10 minutes for this first question, so we will save 5 minutes. Second question number, time allotted is 24 minutes. Utilized time would be 20 minutes. So, we will save 4 minutes for the second question. Third question number, 27 minutes have been allotted. We will utilize 20 minutes for the third question. So, we will save 7 minutes. Question number 4, 24 minutes have been allotted. 20 minutes is the time utilized. So, we will save 4 minutes for the fourth question. Now, question number 5, 30 minutes have been allotted and time utilized over here would be 25 minutes. So, we will save 5 minutes for the fifth question. So, we have the total time allotted as 120 minutes. Time utilized in totality would be 95 minutes and we will save 25 minutes. This 25 minutes that you have saved can be utilized for rechecking the paper which includes correct question numbers, units, correct formula, scale on graph paper, histogram, pi diagram, etcetera.